कैप्टन जी ही इज हियर ही हैज फीवर ही हैज जस्ट रिटर्न फ्रॉम एवरेस्ट बेस कैंप फ्रॉम माइनस ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज टेम्परेचर टू मुंबई में हियर फोर्टी डिग्रीज टेम्परेचर एंड ही इज ही इज नॉट फीलिंग वेल स्टिल ही हैज कम हियर एंड ही स्ट्रेंथ इज सो मच दैट इवन इन दिस फीवर कंडीशन ही कैन रन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइल्स लाइक दिस ओके he has come specially because he loves children he has so much devotion towards gurudev and this is a balvihar camp he has come specifically all the way from mumbai here to do this session we for you tomorrow also one session he will take and then he is going to return and he is going to tell you something very special today listen attentively and prasad ji please introduce thank you captain ji So, have you met any soldier any time? Yes. Have you interacted with a soldier? Yes. So closely? Yes. Where? Huh? In school. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Have you met somebody who has who has a gun also? So you be careful now. Have you met somebody who has shot shot terrorist? For yes. everything you are telling, yes. Has your shoes shoes are lost? Shoes are found? No. So I thought you are bayarted here. Quiet, please. Quiet, quiet. So now, if anybody talks in between. captain swaminathan's aim is very good so you risk is at it's at your risk so i'll introduce captain swaminathan so let's one more clap for him and uh, she is malvika his daughter they both had gone to everest you know everest yes. has anybody gone no so at least i thought you will say yes for this also okay so so captain swaminathan uh, was is in infantry if anybody is inspiring to join army he can guide you you want to anything interesting so if anybody wants to join army you can talk to him uh, it requires physical strength it requires intellectual strength it requires emotional strength whatever you did today you know today patriotism then strength captain they did 10 push ups and 1 minute plank and then they stood on ice correct yes. two minutes on ice they stood okay okay so so we are going to hari om hari om hari om if captain can you take out the gun yes no so, okay so Okay, now you are going to listen quietly for. Shh, shh, shh. So he was he stays in uh, Ghatkopar. He has studied in Fatima School. Then he went to army, and then he became a captain where he was posted in Punjab in anti-terrorist uh, operations, which was one of the biggest operation that time India had, and he has shot lot of terrorist. As you can ask him today, you are complaining about it is so hot. the food is like this and we were telling you that in chn there is minus 40 degrees soldier sir there he has stayed in assam for many many years and only eaten dal bhat not taken bath for so many days and then still have to protect the border so one clap for our soldiers and captain <laughs> one minute i will come to you but but please listen to the introduction so i told you no complaints because you know people are there where there are so many complaints so in this 3 days if any complaints is he will feel bad that our next generation is complaining about 35 degree temperature having so many one lizard then one tap is not one tap in bathroom is not working and my chappal where is my chappal half an hour you wasted in one chappal isn't it so so what is going to uh, share with you you can ask questions later on 
uh, he has gone eight times to Everest based camp. So one clap. Everest base camp, he will tell you what is the height and all. Malvika will share with you. 14 days, no bath. So for three days, you have to take bath, huh? but otherwise you will say we will also not take bath. 14 days, no bath, only dal rice. So he will share with you the stories. And also he has gone to Kailash Manas Sarovar, which is again 16, 17,000 meters. So one clap for that. So with that small introduction, you can ask him questions about army, about guns and all, he, he can explain to you. But today listen about his journey of Everest base camp, he just came back yesterday. Uh, for me, for him. Uh, what is that question? Yes, yes, it is very scary and how he overcame his fear, what Swamiji told him, actually the terrorist was fighting bullets at him, you can ask him. That fear is there, but one has to overcome it. So that you can ask him. So what I would request is that let him complete his story and then you can ask questions. Or captain, if you want to take questions first, that is up to you. Okay, so one more clap. Let us invite him. And Malvika. Hari Om. Jai Hind. Oh, very nice. So you had a lot of questions, a lot of... Uh, before we, I answer your questions, uh, let me complete this small EBC session first. Yeah. What is EBC? Oh, very nice. Okay. What is the height of Everest Base Camp? Okay. And what is the height of Everest Summit? 8,000? 8,000? 800? Okay, he is very close. You are just one meter less than A. It is 8,849 meters, okay? Yeah, Everest summit is 8,849 meters. I plan to summit in 2024. Okay, that's my, that's my dream. That's my dream. Okay, uh, so let me go into this EBC thing. You know, before we plan for EBC, we have to do a lot of planning, particularly about the body. Yes or no? We are going to uh, we are going to peak at a height of 5,000, how much? 364 meters. One meter is equal to how many feet? You have to multiply it by 3.3, 3, okay? 5,364 into 3.3 3 will give you the height in feet. So how much is the height in feet? 16,000? Yeah? Good. Around 16,000. Okay, give him a big hand. Absolutely, yes. Around 16,000. Okay. Now, why I said we have to prepare yourself is any height above 9,000 feet is considered as a high altitude. Now, what is high altitude is oxygen content becomes less beyond 9,000 feet. Okay? Beyond 9,000 feet, oxygen become, content becomes less. So, your body has to get used to that less oxygen. That's why in the summit, in the summit, Everest summit, 8,000 meter is called at the death zone where the oxygen is very less. You have to get used to that. Yeah? Only then you can summit. So now I'm going to only the Everest base camp. Chota the kam hai. Okay. How we prepare ourselves? I think morning you all did this. Eyes. How much uh, the plank? One minute. Excellent. One minute plank and the push ups. Yes. And then you have to do squats also. Okay. Yeah. What we did was I trained my people in slope running. Yeah. Strengthening. Basically, a stre lot of strengthening is required. What is strengthening? Your muscle, yeah, quadriceps, hamstring. This is called a hamstring. This is called a quadricep. It has to carry your weight. Yes or no? We have to walk for almost eight hours a day. That to uphill, you have to strengthen this and your calf muscle. Okay. Tomorrow, in case we have time, of course, when Malvika take Zumba, you'll come to know what is the importance of this muscles. Okay. Yeah. 
so we started centering we used to go to pawai slopes pawai how many of you stay in irnandani yeah many of you oh great we used to go there for pawai slopes running go used to go to juhu beach for sand running yeah again loose sand running is very gives great lot of strength on your legs okay then we used to go for hikes and treks for 7 hours 8 hours okay very close like alexander point if you all know mathiran from karjat we used to walk up in the hot sun come back so that was the practice session we had for four months you know in the army it is said you sweat during peace time you save blood during war time what is that you sweat during peace time you save blood during war time the same goes here also you sweat when you are practicing so that you enjoy your everest base camp seeing the scenery seeing the nature you don't have to crib about are itna chal raha hu yeah you just have to sweat for four months and you will enjoy your trip there okay that's a very important saying we have in the army again i repeat sweat during peace time you save blood during war time yeah we practice a lot in the army just to see that we are not shot the enemy is shot yeah the same way we practice here also next quickly i'll go manvika has written very beautifully about everest base camp it is steps to heaven for good reason yeah absolutely heavenly you feel the moment you reach the airport the airport is a very small lukla airport i'll show you the uh, this also absolutely you'll fall in love with the mountains there okay and as you gain height you keep changing the scenario keeps changing first greenery then only scrubs and later on at higher level only rocks even trees cannot survive that high altitude you will find only rocks and ice and snow yeah that is about the next one the trek route i'll just uh, give you quickly it is from kathmandu nepal we fly to a place called lukla and then walk this entire stretch from 2840 meters right up to 5364 meters in 8 days time to so average comes to around 6 kilometers per day okay you have to just walk 6 kilometer and lot of you people can do it yeah you're all strong enough oh very nice very nice okay 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 i'll ask you later on once i finish this okay yeah next lukla airport now this why i uh, malvika has given this lukla airport is the most, smallest airport in the entire world yeah with only 525 meters the road step as an runway and it is one of the one of the most dangerous airports in the world pilots have to be very skilled in landing and taking off yeah the flight time is around 30 to 40 minutes from kathmandu it goes through a very unstable because lot of clouds lot of snow yeah to lot of bumpy this during the flight but we reach in 30 40 minutes time only small planes and helicopters go there yeah next malika yeah now you see this very beautiful this is the airport this is a plane we come it is a 16 seater 16 seater aircraft yeah it is now taking off we landed in this aircraft now it is taking off taking some other passengers yeah doesn't uh, take out yeah so that is very interesting uh, place first day we go to a 
after we land in lukla we go to a place called as pagding which is down okay next it is this river which is called this river is called as dud koshi river dud means what milk koshi koshi means river or water yeah so the water is so wide when it flows that is why nepali they call it a dud koshi river yeah next and there are a lot of prayer spirit spirituality on everest there are many prayer prayer wheels prayer flags and prayer rocks money stones it's called all along the trail everest is a sacred mountain you know the actual name of nepali name of everest is called as sagar mata everest is a name given by the britishers sagar mata is the original name of everest okay by the nepali call it as sagar mata you walk to the left of the prayer rock whenever we walk we walk to the left of this wheel we never walk while coming back we walk the other side yeah and the wheel is spun saying mantra what om mani padme hum yeah when you just do it you say this particular mantra and then you do it okay and they have tied it to the bell one rotation gives one bell tang okay and you do number of rotation that many bells it goes okay the flags the flags which you see are believed to give positive vibrations okay yeah next ha ah, meals as prasad said ye khana nahi hai wo khana nahi hai there the best meal is dal bhat and sabji that's it yeah all 11 days of course you get fried rice and noodles etc but your stomach gets upset with that food because you are going up and height so this is the best food which we had on along the route yeah next then we go to a place called as namche bazar namche bazar is the district headquarters there it's a very big place okay a lot of army presence is there forest officers presence are there and there we walk a distance of 10 km that day elevation gain is 830 meters the highest in that walk and the duration is for 6 hours we walk yep next can you see these hanging bridges there are almost 7 to 11 bridges okay seven bridges we cross seven days on the second day okay the highest bridge hanging bridge is 2000 feet high it is not it is somewhat like burma bridge yeah but in this bridge even mules can walk even yaks can walk okay it is a very strong bridge but at a height of 2000 feet if you see it so windy there you have to hold your cap and then walk on that that your cap will be blown out hey absolutely <laughs> pardon yeah there are people all the sherpas are very strong people yeah they are very strong people they built it okay yeah next malikam acclimatization what is the acclimatization as i said yeah very nice give her a big hand absolutely yes perfect yeah at a height of 9000 feet as i told you earlier 9000 feet is considered as high altitude your lungs your entire body has to get used to the less oxygen so we acclimatize on that day for one night why one night we say we stay there for two nights because nights the oxygen content is much less than day time yeah so you get used to that oxygen content in the night time okay so that you are comfortable during day time that's why we spent two nights there in namche bazar and beautiful from namche bazar all the biggest peaks are seen like mount everest nupse lotse and amatablam these are all high peaks yeah amatablam is the most technical peak there technical peak means what lot of ice climbing lot of rope climbing is there that's called as technical climbing yeah next next we go to a place called as tengboche elevation is 3860 12664 feet distance is 9.3 km duration is 3 hours without stopping 
फाइव आवर्स विथ फोटोज लंच एंड रेस्ट या थ्री आवर्स इफ यू वॉक कंटिन्यूसली एंड फाइव आवर्स विथ रेस्ट क्लिकिंग फोटोग्राफ्स एक्सेट्रा या नेक्स्ट Then go there. There is a very beautiful monastery there, highest, the only monastery built there. It's a very good. Lot of Buddhist uh, monks uh, they stay there. Yeah, very beautiful. The moment you go there, absolutely silence. You have you cannot speak inside, and total silence at that height. You really feel the divinity inside. Yeah, you can sit for hours together. We sat for half an hour there, and then we came out. Yeah. Next, Dingboche elevation four thousand four ten meters fourteen thousand four sixty eight. And after this, after Namche Bazar, one thing is even mules cannot go up high altitude. Only yaks can go up. Mules can go up to maximum nine thousand feet. Beyond that, only the yaks are taken for carrying food and our baggage, etc. Yep. Yeah. Next. Bing Boche to Tukla, Tukla is again 450 meters uh, elevation gain, five kilometer duration is three hours. Next, now when you walk from Tukla to Lobuche, there is one place called as you have the photograph, yeah, memorial. Now this memorial is built there when we walk. This memorial is built people who have given their life while summiting Everest. Because of avalanches or earthquakes or whatever has happened, those country have built a memorial for those people at this place called as Tukla. You can go around there, you can click photographs, and and this this is called as what? Stack of stone. It gives luck to you if you place it. That's what they say. Yeah. Okay, next. That's the memorial, if you can see. Next, next, last one, the last day, Lobuche to Gorakshep. Now, the last day is the most difficult day because we have to walk for almost twelve hours, right from morning six o'clock, six o'clock to evening almost seven. It can be more than twelve hours also. We go to a place called as Gorakshep. Yeah, height is five one six four, and sixteen thousand nine forty two feet. Distance is 4.3 kilometers, and duration only to Gorakhshep is four hours. After that, we go to Everest Base Camp. Trek to Everest Base Camp is three hours from. Now, what is this base camp? Have you heard about Kumbu Glacier? Have you heard about Kumbu Glacier? Kumbu Glacier is the world's largest glacier. Yeah. Everest base camp is on the glacier. We stand on the ice. There's ice. You can feel. You can hear the sound of water flowing below the ice. You can hear a lot of big, big ice flowing. As as if yeah, there is a thunder. Yeah, down below you there is a thunder. The flowing river and the ice colliding gives a lot of sound. So that is glaciers. Yeah, the biggest. Largest glacier in the world, Kumbu Glacier. Temperature go up to minus. Uh, when we were there, it was minus ten in the morning. Okay, daytime in the afternoon rather, and night time it went to minus twenty degrees. Yeah, feeling at five thousand meters. Yeah, might experience symptoms of altitude sickness. Altitude sickness is AMS. It is called as what? AMS. Absolutely great, acute mountain sickness. Yeah, what is it? Gives headache, vomiting, diarrhea, shallow breathing due to less oxygen. Yeah, haze. Haze is high altitude cerebral edema. I am not going too much into it. And hape is high altitude pulmonary edema. One affects the cerebral system, and one affects the lung system. So you have to be very careful when you do this thing. If you have any problems, you have to immediately report that I have so and so problem, and immediate medication will be given so that your problem reduces. The focus has to be to complete the task. Yeah, your body problems can be taken care of, but the focus has to be complete. Like 
26 of us went there. Lot of people had problem. Yeah, I told them to take uh, Dymox. We take one medicine called as Dymox. We to I told them to take Crocin. But I always told them, please focus on your objective. That is to complete Everest Base Camp. Yeah, this body sickness will go. And once they focused on that. All of them completed the Everest Space Camp. That is the focus. Yeah, that's our team. Yeah, all of us were there. Yeah, and that is Malvika there. Malvika is holding the national flag there. It's so windy. You can see it's so windy there. Absolutely. I mean, the moment we open our face, we generally close it. The moment we open our face, entire ice is formed here. Yeah, so that was the thing there. Yeah, volume was not there, na. And next day, next day, early morning, next day, this is an optional. This other than EBC, there's one peak called as Kala Patthar, which is five thousand five fifty meters higher than EBC. Okay, higher than EBC. Yeah, it is at five thousand five fifty meters. Me, Malvika, and two more uh, people went there. From there, you can see the Everest. Everest is very clear from there at that height. From base camp, Everest is not seen, but from Kala Patthar, Everest top is seen very clearly. And we we started at three o'clock in the morning and reached by around four forty-five in the early in the morning when the sun was rising. All the peaks were golden in color, absolutely. Absolute golden color, and the moment the sun rises, everything after golden it turns white. Absolutely, it's such a beautiful scenario there. I mean, you you sit there, you see a movie, open air theater movie, colors changing, the sky from dark, absolutely light blue, then dim blue, different colors, absolute different colors. You'll be amazed with nature. Yeah, so that's what me and Malvika went and. Then we descended down. It took us just one and a half hours, I think so. Yeah, one and a half hours. It took us to descend down from Kala Patthar down. We had to base camp Gorakhship. And here again, it was minus twenty early in the morning. I opened my face mask just to re. Entire mustache was full of snow. Pura kada ko gaya tha ekdam. Yeah, as if stars lagaya hai sam. So that is the uh, and her bottle. She had a uh, camel, you know, camel bottle. Yeah, that's a pipe. Yeah, the entire pipe was frozen. Entire thing became ice. Or my bottle, entire bottle became gola. Gola, eat it, na. We had to take that and eat instead of water. That was the temperature there. But then somehow we managed it. And once the sun came up, we had, of course, the water was zero degrees. But it was water, not ice. Yeah. Okay, that's about Everest and the Everest Base Camp. Yeah. Uh, uh, how how many? This one, no, this one is a selfie. Ah, that one, yes, yes. This is all true photos, happy. Pardon. No, I am going. I am going to summit in 2024. Pardon? Oxygen is not required here. Once again, one thing: oxygen is required beyond 8,000 meters. Yeah, where I said a death zone, where the death zone starts, the oxygen is carried by us. Yeah, by the summiters. Yeah. Pardon? Gun. That's a secret. Ha 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 ha
काला पत्थर आए लोअर सिक्स लेयर्स या ओ वेरी नाइस वेरी गुड या ऑफ कोर्स आई वाज पेड फॉर दैट As I said, below eight thousand meters, yeah, oxygen is there. Your lungs has to get used to that less oxygen. Above eight thousand, we have to carry oxygen cylinder. Above eight thousand meters, yeah. Above eight thousand meters, the submitters carry oxygen bottle, okay, as per their requirement till the submit is done. no no in the, not in everest base camp no kala patthar also not required it is 5550 meters less than 8000 right yep no it's very safe nepal is very safe as of now <laughs> yeah what no 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 yeah 8000 meters 8000 meters you have to walk वेर ऑक्सीजन सुन यस नॉट ने वेर काठमंडू वन बाय वन वाय क्लाइम दे हिमालय यस आई विजिटेड या विल टेक यू ना प्रसाद दे ऑल वॉन्ट टू कम फॉर ईबीसी नेक्स्ट टाइम विल दे कैम्प विल बी देर हाँ बाल बिहार कैम्प या वन बाय वन ओके देर नो टॉयलेट देर वो बोल देर इज नो टॉयलेट देर देर नो टॉयलेट देर एंड वॉटर इज आइस so you imagine what you can do please raise your hand how many want to come ebc next year okay from today then only dal bath huh, for you dal bath 3 days training snow leopard snow leopards are there no i didn't see they hide when some yeah one by one yeah quiet yeah when you kill someone okay great hello hello quiet 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 it's a very interesting question yeah once again great killing someone is not very easy killing someone is not very easy of course swami ji can talk more about it we are trained to keep our mind cool we generate anger when it is required okay we generate anger only when it is required to kill enemy okay and then we cool down we have our own process and we keep our mind very cool after that of course it takes one at least two days to come out of it it takes time it is not easy again yeah now when we are defending yeah when we go to our defense like i was posted in Ch sikkim near china border there at that same height we had our weapons but during treks and hike we don't have it when we are in the defenses we have it yeah most dangerous journey ever okay most dangerous sir at prasad uh, said punjab was the most dangerous uh, journey i had 
and encountering terrorists. Yep. No, our weapons are highly tested for right up to plus 50 degrees to minus 50 degrees in Siachen also. Our weapons work. Yep. How to prepare being a, yes, very nice question. Give her a big hand, yes, absolutely, very nice question. How to prepare yourself? As I said, be focused on what you want to achieve, okay? Yeah, and then, first is studies. Studying is important because we have to write an entrance exam, okay, UPSC, yeah? Yes, you have to write an entrance exam, and also you have to be physically strong. Both the things, yeah, mentally and physically you have to be strong. Okay, yeah. After say again. It takes three years time. Yeah, NDA takes three years and other places take one and a half years. Yeah. Okay, quiet, quiet. Now why are you standing? Sit down. We are talking about the army. First is discipline. Yes or no? Sit down. Sit down, yes. Oh, very well, nice question, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first is joy of killing an enemy because I'm doing something for my country. Yes or no? And the second joy is I'm saved, he's killed. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And the third one is yes, sometimes that happened. There's a question mark. Why did I do it? But then, of course, everything is on what a purpose. I think Prasad and others will talk more about purpose. Purpose. You are there for a purpose. So that's why you have killed. Yeah? Yes, yeah, ma'am. No, that's what I said. Purpose is very clear. Maybe my bullet would have hit him. What happens is when you go for an attack, we fire when, say, 10 people go for an attack, we all open fire simultaneously. It is not that one by one we go and yeah. It is only in a final assault where we remove the scabbard and knife, you know, the, yeah, bayonet. There you go one to one kill. But in my case, because anti terrorist operation, there's no final assault. It is all through weapons only. So one of my bullet would have killed him. Pardon? No, 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 no. Avalanche. That is doing summit. Avalanche generally comes doing summit. Yes, you are taught. To be very honest, you just have to escape that particular path. You cannot run away from it, you have to go sideways. Yeah, but again, that is very difficult. Easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, who is not asked question at all? Yes. Okay, yeah. I am not able to hear. Say again. To, when to the? Camp. Everest Base Camp, I am very passionate about mountaineering. My passion takes me there. This is the eighth time I am gone. It's my passion with the mountains. Yeah. Are doing anti terrorist? Yes. Nowadays, yes. Not earlier. Nowadays, yes. Nowadays, yeah. How many? No, I was in the anti terrorist There's no battle. Yes, anti terrorist also a battle. There's a number of battles. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon? Of course. Casualties are there. But lesser the casualty, better it is for us.
you is uh, use tissue paper you have to use tissue tissue paper yeah you have to be ready with tissue as well as water yeah of course you have to generally what we do is you are right absolutely what we do is in the night time we fill up a bottle we keep it in a sleeping bag see that the bottle doesn't open up na to sleeping bag thanda ho jayega so we keep it in the sleeping bag sleeping bag keeps it warm in a liquid state yeah and early morning you use that for brushing and for toilet also both both in one yeah yeah so you have to use ideas and and uh, all the others also even the ladies in the higher altitude like 8000 m ago you cannot go out also yeah because it is freezing here we have what is called as pee bottles yeah we use that in the tents you cannot go out it is not possible to go out yeah so there are different systems there to use it okay yeah Now, one second. One second. Uh, well, depends on what is the quantity of explosive. It all depends on the quantity of explosive. P K. or rdx even a small quantity can give a big blast so it depends on the quantity if the quantity is very high and the blast that cannot protect yeah so he has to be very skillful in dismantling that bomb he has to be highly skillful yeah certainly if the quantity is less he will be safe yeah dismantling when you are you know how a bomb works because of a detonator right when you open a detonator how skillfully you open the detonator or remove the detonator is very important yeah you must have seen in movies green green wire red wire yes or no ha uh, usko skill chahiye yeah <laughs> yeah correct yeah mine as of now uh, trevor trevor yep suryavanshi kaun sa movie nahi there are many movies who have taken true stories but they have added masala okay i like okay for the, it's a good guy. How many of you have seen that movie Uri? Uri, ha, okay, okay, hands down, hands down, hands down. You know, first scene, first scene where our soldiers go into Myanmar, Myanmar, that is Burma, yeah. First scene which is there, we kill lot of terrorists and come back. That's an actual story, and that operation was conducted by my unit. That is why I know that operation. It's a true story. थोड़ा मसाला ऐड किया पिक्चर में, but that's all. It's a true story. and i am from that unit i am proud to be part of that unit yes okay now last two questions last two questions yeah who has not asked who has not he has not asked yeah we carry our personal weapon we all of us have our own personal weapons okay and we carry like we are m16 i'm from the special forces we have m16 and trevor both yeah so we carry one of them yeah who is you have asked you have asked you have asked not asked okay yeah which one canon okay canon um, canon mean there are two types okay one is the canon with the artillery people use yeah Yeah, buffers. Have you heard about buffers? Yeah, there's a buffer gun which can put what big big cannon balls forty kilometers. Yeah, that is called as a cannon. And what we have is smaller one which is called as 
81 mm motors okay we put it this way and it goes around 4 kilometers yes absolutely and we put the bomb from top yes absolutely yes yes Yeah, it is very, outside is very cold, absolutely, yes, very too, white smoke, absolutely, yes. Dangerous weapon. Most effective weapon is Trevor and M16, effective weapon, yeah, not dangerous, effective weapon. Most dangerous is, is PEK, what is called Plastic explosive. Yes, we have to use it. <laughs> we have to use it. Now, earlier it was there in 0.303, etc. A lot of backfire was there. But nowadays the weapon system has been very made very well, wherein that not much of backfire is there. Yep. It it absorbs. The springs are very good nowadays. Made a gun? No, I have not made a gun. We get it ready made from the ordnance factory. Yeah, ordnance factory gave it to us. How? Made? Made means what? We are thought to dismantle it and assemble it in ten seconds time. Even in darkness, our eyes are closed. Okay, we have put a band, and entire weapon is laid out, and we have to again. Man dismantle it and assemble it again in 10 seconds, 12 seconds time. Yeah. Yeah. Last one, Swamiji. I think last one. Yeah. Dangerous injury. No, luckily I didn't have any injury. <laughs> Hurry. 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 Thank you so much, Captain Ji. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om